I thought I had put it away. What'd you do? I wrapped my hands in your sheets and I stuck it under your pillow. Still didn't do a lot of good. That thing is radioactive purple. I bet it glows in the dark. Somebody's gonna see it. Okay, okay, I'll take care of it. Hey, any luck finding my phone in the bathroom? I think I left it near the sink. Oh, my rather simplistic setup is hardly a true studio per se. I like to call it my bohemian oasis. A place I can abscond to and escape from the mundanity of our everyday lives. And yes, while I do like to paint up there, it's only because I need to express my frustrations with the world, lest it overcome me and suck away my artistic spirit. Painting is the best way for me to positively release my qualms with modern society and the man. <laughs> if I was to lower myself to using today's vernacular. Why, thank you. I appreciate your eye for a fellow life traveler. I too have an eye, an eye for a beautiful human form. You know, you may be just the form I need to complete my portfolio. Nothing like that. I'm simply noting that you're a beautiful human. I'm going to be sending my work off to a local gallery soon in hopes that I can get a showing, but they required the portfolio to have a painting of a human model, a nude human model. Well, is it something you'd be interested in? Oh my, so full of passion for my craft. Okay then, first things fir- First things first is that you're gonna take a step back, friend. If anybody's going to model for Madison, then it's gonna be me. Right, Madison? I mean, come on, look at me. Derek, whoa, you would model for me? Even though we're, you know... We can deal with all of that later, Madison. We got a lot of shit to sift through, but I just can't let you go stripping someone else down and seeing what they're packing, even if it is in the name of art. I want to be your subject. Pay me like one of your French girls, baby. Hmm. Here's what we'll do. I feel that the person I'm going to paint should be a true patron of the arts themselves. Somebody who can see a great painting and get wet in the crotch just like me. I need the two of you to each create a piece of spectacular art, and whoever blows me away will be my subject for tonight. Sound good? Madison, come on. I mean, after everything we've been through, doesn't this seem like an obvious choice? No more time to chat, my beautiful angels. I'll expect to be wowed tonight. So, get to work. Wet my crotch with art, bitches. Hey, any luck finding my phone in the bathroom? I think I left it near the sink. Hmm, well, I've been exploring the world of sculptures lately. Late Renaissance period, wax museum replicas of 80s action stars, stuff like that. Something detailed. Like something you can look at for hours without minding. Say in case someone's dad needs to grab a smoke but gets distracted by older off-strip casinos. Yeah, I think I'd like to see a sculpture. Oh, and every piece of art needs a message. Yeah, a sculpture with a message. And you better be ready to present it to some of my guests in an intimate setting. Yeah, on a lit pedestal. Should be easy, right? I'm gonna still get my reps tonight. I wonder if there's anything I can use as a I'll give you anything if your roommate died. Hello again. Um, my dad is a curator of an art museum, and my mom is an award-winning photographer from the 80s. <laughs> she has crazy stories from those days, like one time she rolled acid with Mr. T. <sighs> I have got to chill out. Yes, I know art. I've never heard of any party that requires a sculpture. Should I have made a sculpture? Is this a bring-your-own-sculpture party? BYOS? I hope nobody's grabbed that penguin from the garage that Ashley lugged in. That's what I've used as the base of my sculpture. But she seemed kinda into it. <laughs> Damn it. Confidence break. Hello again. Oh, 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 
When you display your art to the world, you want to separate it from the world. Because the world is just too beautiful. So, somewhere the opposite of the Earth. Uh, yeah, somewhere flat. <laughs> and, uh, uh, oh, and, uh, if the piece will have a personal connection to one of the viewers, show it off somewhere special to that person. Mmm, top art strat 2020, bruh. That feeling I get from peppers that bust the Scoville. Hey again, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, that was going to be my little contribution to the party. That's Nippy Dick's Chili Stick Maker. You put ice in the back, then it starts making ice pops that you can flavor and all that. Unfortunately, Nippy Dick went out of business a few years ago for offering more than just chili sticks. So I had to buy that thing from some collector. And wouldn't you know it, it's as broke as a son of a bitch. So Nippy Dick now gathers dust in the garage. Some party, right? Sure. I mean, see if you can get it running, maybe. With Frank guarding the booze, frozen ice is the closest thing I'm getting to a margarita. Mud is when you take your truck out onto the back roads and just, well, yeah. Hey, any luck finding my phone in the bathroom? I think I left it. What's that? Your work of art is ready, is it? All right. Well, where is it? I can do that. In fact, why doesn't everybody join us? For those that are interested, we'll be heading upstairs in a few moments to see what our guest has created. Come if you'd like and spread the word. See you when everybody's up there. No pressure, but now that I'm involving my friends, my expectations have gone from a wet crotch to an all-out FEMA alert. It was a good turning point for me because... I was the convention center because it was actually a cup holder from a 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Ever since... Ugh, I don't know how a dress can manage to be so tight and still only be hanging on. All right, I guess this is who's coming. So, this is it? This object is what you've come up with? It's incredible. I can't believe the thought you've put into this. The penguin, it's, it's making a statement that's both environmental and sexual at the same time. The middle finger he raises high, flipping off our society while he lets his true sexuality dangle in the wind. This pink dildo is his way of saying, this is me. Love me for who I am. And who I am is Penguin, who will not be eaten by a whale, because fuck whales. I have to admit, this thing is kind of cool. I don't know if I'd want it in my room watching me while I sleep, but it's pretty cool all the same. Wait, is that Mr. Nippy Dick? I've fucked a few whales of my day. I think I love it. Yeah, like, oh God, why can't I shut my eyes? What? <sighs> uh, well, I'm just not able to stop looking at it. Yep, yep, it is great. Yep. <laughs> so glad we're all here with this art. <laughs> it's got a dildo on it. Good art, brah. I'm gonna call you Salvador Brawley. You guys are kidding me, right? This shit right here? This is not art. This looks like it belongs to an insane asylum for animatronic animals that climbed off the stage and started killing everybody in the pizza place. This shit is fucked up, yo. Tarek, if you think it's so bad, why don't you just show us what you made? Feast your eyes, folks. You're already looking at the winning exhibit. 
These pectorals came straight from the gods, baby. My abs are painstakingly painted on every day down at the gym. This is the art of man. <laughs> so that's all you've got? What do you mean, is this all I got? Tell me this isn't doing something for you, Madison. I mean, this is the type of shit they painted on the Listerine Chapel, baby. Um, well, we've definitely got our winner. Sorry, Derek, but this penguin really speaks to me. I'm going to paint our friend. This doesn't make any sense. Should I keep taking more clothes off? Great work on this. I'm going to keep it if you don't mind. Well, I'm going to get all my supplies ready. In the meantime, if you can, just get Patrick back downstairs. I don't need our most troublesome guest traipsing around my room. Can you handle with that while I deal with this man baby? Hey, uh, hold up. I saw you running around tonight, putting your grubby hands on all kinds of shit to make your penguin fucker. I gotta, um, pat you down to make sure you didn't steal anything. Ha! Keys! And I, I, uh, know these ain't yours, cause... Um, fuck you, I'm keeping them. B Madison, look, I, I have a new art piece. I call it Fuck Penguins, the Doormaster Cometh. What's up, Salvador Brawley? Make any new dildo-related art? I'm on the market, you know. We gonna party some more? You don't have to ask me twice. Lead the way. Let's go see if Stephanie still got her dress caught in her panties. <laughs> or do something like that silver. Bra, her panties ate her dress? I, I gotta sit down and think about what this means. See you around if the panties don't get you first. Oh no, the South is a great Well, well, well. If it ain't the backstabbing bitch who I thought was my friend. I'm sorry to say that your little modeling session has been canceled. It ain't happening, so go back downstairs. You hear me? She's locked in this bathroom and she's not coming out until we figure our shit out, which in no way involves you. So get out of here. What's gotten into me? How about the fact that my so-called friend is invading on my tush turf? That's what's gotten into me. That... And I took one of Amy's hyperalls, so I'm shooting on all motherfucking cylinders. This shit makes me feel like a Navy SEAL that's about to be face-fucked by the devil. I'm spitting Satan sperm, baby! You're not good for me. Get out of here. This room is officially off limits. How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol? Yeah, I could do that. I fucking love to fight. What's the occasion? Whoa, whoa. He's on hyperall? Sorry, bro, but I'm not fighting anybody who's wired on that shit, dude. The FDA said that shit is meant to wake up a fucking grizzly bear after they've been relocated. I'm not fighting no grizzly bear, dude. Nah, bro. If he were still in his normal state of mind, maybe. The Derek that earlier tonight was looking at the picture of the cat in the other room and shedding tears because it was so cute with its little fluffy paws and shit. Now that Derek, I could fight. Cat Derek? Yes. Bear Derek? No way, dude. Yeah, dude. Derek was blubbering about something about cats over by the fireplace earlier. I couldn't hear much from here, but Derek was sobbing and shit. I don't know much more. You may want to ask Stephanie. She was closer. Get that Travels through saliva. Hey, you. Enjoying the party? You wanna enjoy something else? Oh, yeah. It was pretty sad. That framed picture kind of near the white rock. He picked it up and got all teary-eyed. He said it used to be his cat, but he gave her to Madison as a gift, but it ran away. Sad story, huh? Oh well, back to dancing. Yeah, and then Ashley sees Derek full-blown bawling over that kitty pic, and she gets all bent out of shape. She runs outside and starts crying over by the hot tub like she was standing over the grave of her late sugar daddy. I personally like seeing a dude's personal side, but something about seeing Derek crying over a cat, it just got to her. You know, people think I'm dumb, but they don't know that I'm gonna be a doctor. And all doctors are like,
super totes observant, just like me. Except if they have their own TV show. I think then they just use that as their credentials to milk fame and fortune for themselves by capitalizing on others at a vulnerable time in their life. Well, to each their own. Time to dance the night away. I dedicate this poem to my cat, Pergalicious. So furry and cute, this is a loss I'll never get through. I can't believe I let somebody else pet you. I let you stay with Madison over the weekend, hoping it would up my chances of getting some white girl freaking. Then you ran away and got lost, trying to find Papa D. And I pray you didn't get hit by a Lamborghini. I promise you, Pergalicious, I'll come running anytime I hear thou. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> What the? Pergalicious, is that you? Where you at, kitty cat? Madison, it's Pergalicious. I gotta find her. Pergy, you in here? Shit, nope. Pergy, you out here? Oh shit, you on the roof. Dog, I mean cat. Stay right where Oh, uh, yo, you've got to help me get down. I'm really, really not into heights, so it's freaky being up here. I thought my cat was up here, but it's just a voice recorder and... You motherfucker. Are you fucking kidding me? Come get me down right goddamn now. I think... I think I'm having a panic attack. This is real right now. This is for real happening to me. I have to meditate. <sighs> I'll be quiet so you can pull off this nude model shit. Congrats, fucko. Just please come get my ass down from this roof. Damn, I can't believe Derek tried to lock me in the bathroom. Some people are just sore losers. So, you ready to get started? Let me just get situated here. I'll finish painting Rachel's sky animal another time. You know what? It'd probably be best if we got started with the painting, and I can talk about that as I work. That means it's time for you to shine, big boy. You're still cool with full nude, right? Hell yes, indeed. So, I'm just gonna pretend like this is one of those gym locker room situations, and I'm gonna awkwardly and intensely stare at every single object in this room except for your junk. Of course, when I think you're not looking, then I'm gonna take a quick package peek. Oh, I like the confidence. Hold on to that confidence while I paint, but don't hold on to anything else, if you get my meaning. Look at you, Stallion. <clears throat> um, of course, this is an artistic venture, so I shouldn't talk to my model like that. So I won't. And since we're professionals, let's cover a few quick model no-nos. First things first, be as still as possible. Take a lesson from Catherine's book bitch and be so cold-blooded that you're frozen in place. However, there will be different poses I'll need you to make. So when I ask you to move, move quick and only to the position that I requested. Got it? Wonderful. And speaking of Rogers, my final no-no involves your Jolly Roger. Just because you're naked, at no point can your little sailor take a trip to the bait and tackle shop to cast out some lines. <sighs> I guess my dad's euphemisms aren't for everybody. No touching your dick, got it? Good little model. All right, time to let your energy guide my brush. Let's start. 
Let's start with something basic. Pose for me like an animal taking in the afternoon sun after a long hunt where you scored a well-earned kill. But make it, you know, sexy looking. Oh, perfect. I knew you were either a bird or a fish. This really helps me see which. For your sky animal, that's what you're modeling for. I am painting you, but it's your embodiment of your sky animal. I mean, anybody can paint a human. It takes real artistic skill to seek out one sky animal and bring it to life on the canvas. Before you ask anything else, go ahead and pose like you're begging for leftover scraps from a zookeeper or a homeless man. Great stuff, great stuff. I might have you roll over like a good boy later, but not yet. Be because when you're naked, that's um how I can see your true aura. <laughs> It's like, how did Michael Ralph Macchio sculpt David if he didn't have his dick out? It'd be impossible. Anything else? All right, it's not a gallery per se. I'm going to be sending these interpretations to my spirit animal guru, Howling Wolf, so he can place them ominously around the desert. He says my art is so powerful, it even scares off the police who are combing the area looking for... Well, I don't know what they're looking for, but I know these paintings help keep Howling Wolf's commune off the radar. All right, my darling model, this isn't 20 questions. One last pose. I'm gonna need you to start stroking that magnificent member of yours. I know I said not to, but I think it'll really help me understand your inner beast. So, whenever you're ready. Such primal passion. I have to paint this. Just don't go all the way. I have all the paints I need, if you know what I mean. No, goddammit, no! Hmm? <sighs> oh, you like to talk to yourself as you work, huh? Baby, do your thing. I don't question anyone else's artistic method. And... finished. This is... You'll just have to come closer and see for yourself. I may have just painted my greatest work yet. I present to you your sky animal. The Packing Penguin. Yeah, it was so clear. I mean, after the art you made and the size of the cock you put on that thing, I was just so clear it was a symbol of you. Are you kidding? Why do you think I wanted you naked for this? I knew you'd be, well, packing. And I was right. That's the kind of cock you want to put in a cereal box, so it's the first thing you taste in the morning. Breakfast for dinner. Don't mind if I do. God, I've been waiting for this since you showed me your masterpiece. Both of them. Oh, God. Dear God, no! My favorite expression is ruined forever! Did you hear that? I bet people are talking about us outside. Let's move this into my bedroom. We can get more privacy that way. Stay put, put your clothes on, and come out like a minute after me so it doesn't look too suspicious. See you and it in a second. Hey, hey, please, come talk to me real quick. Don't do this, man. I know I got a little crazy there for a second, but I'm feeling better. The fear of falling off this roof and breaking my neck has totally sweat all that hyper all out of my system. I'm good now. So please, dude, don't do this. Because I'm really into Madison. Like, really into her. I think we could be more than whatever the fuck we are now. It's only because we're fighting right now. She's using you to drive me insane. And if you can't tell by the fact that I'm outside on the roof, it's really working. But I can fix things between her and I, and I can make this into something real. I just need you to back down. Just be a friend. That's what I need from you right now at this very moment. 
If you don't hook up with Madison, you'll have my friendship for life. Anybody who crosses you has to go through me first. Frank, Patrick, that guy in the Adidas tracksuit by the 7-Eleven. Now I'm going to find a very safe way off this roof. And when I come inside, if I see that the bedroom door is open, I'll know you were my friend tonight. If not, whatever. Took you long enough to slap on some clothes and walk across the hall? Close and lock that door, and come over here, big guy. What's the matter? Uh, I see, I guess. Well, um, thanks for your honesty, I suppose. Eh, not really. I'm not saying I'm totally using you or anything like that, but I really just wanted to see how Derek would react to me hooking up with you. Yeah, we're good. I do think that was a good painting, too, so thanks. Now, let's just get back to the party. Hey, I got down from the roof. Looks like you didn't seal the deal with Madison. That's a real friend right there. I appreciate it, buddy. Sorry for nearly flipping my shit on you earlier. And that's what makes you my main man. Hey, anytime anybody tries to mess with you tonight, just know I'll be there to step in. Well, any dudes, that is. I'm not gonna be laying hands on a lady, but I'll watch your back against any of these other fellas. Thanks again, man. 